with Scott, field service tech here at Powell, for another weekly maintenance tip. This week's maintenance tip is going to be simulating a mag flow meter, especially the Yokogawa. The reason you may want to simulate the Yokogawa transmitter is to ensure that the HMI, the PLC, and the transmitter are in sync and displaying the flow that is that you have programmed into it. Next one I'm going to do is going to go through the menus to, of this transmitter and show you how to set up the simulation to display. To get into the menus for for the Okagawa, you press your finger over this button to you see touch, shift, and the down arrow key. So what you do is press the shift and then the down arrow key, then you'll get this yes or no. Use the arrow key to go down to yes, then press set, and it'll start flashing. Press set again, and it will stay for a second, and then go to the menus. What you'll do then is come into, with using your arrow key, that will move your cursor. You'll move down to basic setup. What you want to do now is you want to see what the span of this transmitter is. So you're going to go into basic setup by pressing set. Then you're going to use the down arrow key to find span. There, you're on flow span. You're going to hit set to go into it. What you want to know is as you see, it's set for 100 gallons per minute. What this does is it'll let you know that the simulation will be sending over there that at top will be 100 gallons a minute. You need to know that to be sure when you go to your display that they're in sync. So once you find that out, you can hit press and shift at the same time and that will back you out. To the main menu then you'll back out one more to get to the very main menu then you'll arrow down to you see test right there once you go into once you are highlighted on test press set <laughs> you'll be on test mode you gotta go into there and change it to test Right now it's set at normal. Use your arrow key to go down and highlight test. Press set. Then press set again. Now, now it is in simulation mode. So what you're going to do next is go down to test output value. Use your arrow key to highlight that. Go use set to go in there. What you want to do is this is asking for a percentage. So you're going to go in first, you're going to start out with 25%. Use your shift key. Use your arrow key to take it the two. Then you're going to shift to your next place. No, take it to a five. Once you got 25% in, you'll hit set. And then press set again. Now this is simulating 25%. So you go over to your HMI, look at it, and on your HMI, since this is set to 100 gallons per minute, it should read 25 gallons on your display. Yours may be different because you have, may have it set to 150 gallons a minute or 200 gallons a minute. But this, like I said, this one is set to 100 gallons a minute. So then you're going to go to your next step, which is 50%. I'm going to go set, shift over, change the 2 to a 5. You're going to shift. You're going to change the 5 to a 0. You're going to invariably make a mistake sometimes like this where you're going to go over your number. There's not a way to back up on a number you got to go completely all the way around again so. it's 
So now it's set at 50 gallons a minute. Press set, press set again. Now the transmitter is set for 50% of 100 gallons a minute, which means on your display, it should be displaying 50 gallons a minute. And then you can continue doing this for 75 and 100. And then once you are all done, going through there and you are satisfied with your results you got to take this out of test mode so you're going to use the arrow key to run through the menus till test mode is highlighted again press set use your arrow key to go down to normal press set press set again now this should be out of simulation mode now. <laughs> what you're gonna do next, you're gonna go all the way back to measure mode and you're gonna do that by pressing set and shift at the same time. You're gonna escape out, escape out. Now you're in measure mode. To be certain that you are out of simulation mode, go to your HMI and you should be reading zero gallons per minute on your HMI. <clears throat> if this, seems it's all right and you are still wondering why your gallons per minute is off you may then next step is clean the electrodes on the inside of this flow meter um, a few weeks ago we did a video on that and you can look at that to see how to clean that it is very important to ensure that the scaling of this transmitter and the scaling of the plc equal like in today's example, it's 100 gallons a minute. So at 50%, your display on your HMI should be 50 gallons a minute. That is the key point of, that you need to take out of this video, that the two need to be equal. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Also comment below on some other ideas of videos you would like to see us do. Um, for more information, go to our website at powellsolutions.com and see us next week for another video.